Hello everybody and welcome to Look Be A Landlord. For those of you that haven't seen this game on YouTube yet, this is a very interesting little slot machine roguelike. Very interesting. I've been playing it in my free time quite a lot recently. It's really fun. Uh, let's jump on in and get started. Essentially, the idea of the game is that you have rent to pay every so many spins and you earn money from different symbols you get on the board. After each spin, you can add new symbols. At the end of each due rent period, you can add new items. And essentially, you've got to try and synergize different things with each other to create the best combination of gaining money there's a lot of different combos and synergies in this game and you can really create some very interesting builds and let's see how we go let's let's get right into this jump on right in these are our first few we got coin cherry clubs flower and cat let's spin away and see what we get on the first turn we can actually go for a cultist build already so i'll quickly go into some of the some of the detail with some of these so some um some different symbols have synergies with themselves like cultist we gain uh, an extra coin for every cultist on the board light bulb here synergized with specific things such as flowers and seeds where it's going to give us extra uh, coins or it's going to make seeds grow a little quicker or urns um, and, and other likewise symbols can give you things on being destroyed uh, and you can make destroy synergies but i'm gonna go for the cultist i like the cultist if we can make him pop early he's really good um okay and then here we've got beer B common item very low amount of money but it kind of synergizes with a few things like the dwarf we can go with monkey here or we can skip you can you can opt to skip different things we're gonna go for the urn for now and uh, see if we can destroy that later on there's a few different ways you can do that um and then we can go with candy candy synergizes with the uh with the toddler banana peel i very rarely use that but we'll go for a key because as you can see with the key it unlocks different lock boxes so we can pick up lock boxes if they come up here uh we're getting kind of bad stuff right now uh go for the goldfish we've not got anything that synergizes yet uh, but we've made our first rent period and we we get ourselves an item we're gonna go for the five-sided die basically rolls between one and five and then we can get one of these we can either go with get one whenever a symbol's destroyed cats give an additional coin with pizza the cat or we can go with this and just add two symbols i'm gonna go for that we can just then destroy that and then add two symbols let's go for a mouse and another goldfish we've not really got any great synergies going on right now and that's kind of problematic i'm gonna skip those we don't need any of those um yeah it's kind of problematic but there there's our first synergy we've got a cultist so now these are going to give us double which is really nice um hmm so bear's gonna be able to destroy honey and uh give us some of that we don't have any honey yet we don't have any thieves yet so the banana peel's not useful and the seed does have a 25 percent chance to grow but we don't have anything that synergizes with any of these so again i'm gonna skip it's a bit of a difficult game to play in terms of figuring out what symbols you want to keep and what ones you want to throw away we'll take another mouse mice destroy cheese so if we find cheese we can pick that up um, yeah, it's a bit of a difficult game to play in terms of figuring out what synergizes and how best to build, like when to skip. But it's all kind of an elegant dance and you eventually get a good um, a good sort of feel for when things need to be done, when you need to skip and when you need to take. Um, but it kind of hinges on the early game a lot. A lot of the time you kind of need to get some really good stuff right off the bat to start off a cool synergy. But here we've got an item capsule. Capsules are pretty interesting. This will give us no coins, but it will destroy itself upon being selected and add one common item um then here okay we've got actually a few interesting things here so currently we have two goldfish so we can take the fish bowl it'll put all of that and then before each spin it gives us um it'll basically give us two coins every single turn we could take ninja mouse where if we get any ninjas we can get if they're adjacent to mice it'll give us five times more or we can go with lucky cat for every cat head that we have we are 1.3 times more likely to find uncommon rare and very rare i'm gonna go for the fishbowl for now because that takes two symbols off of our board as well as helping us out and we got the uh the pepper there as well um let's take another urn uh it gives two if none of the symbols are blank so essentially once we get enough symbols we won't have any of these blank spaces and we'll get an extra two so that's four that we're gonna be getting every turn once we once we reach that level i'm just hoping we get more cultists here we go we've got some cheese here uh, so cheese if this is adjacent to a mouse will be eaten for an extra 15 um bounty hunters can destroy thieves oysters can add pearls i'm gonna skip these i don't think any of those are too useful for us let's keep her going see what we get uh crabs crabs are really fun crabs are really fun because every single one of them that's on the same row you get more and more so you can get like 
I think it times, it multiplies them all. So if you got like a full row of just crabs, I think you end up getting like 20 per crab, which is really, really good. But we're a little bit past that. We're only two coins off um, off rent and we're, we've got two spins left. So we're completely fine to get rent here. Um, ooh, should we go for the Makushka doll? It uh, destroys itself after four spins, and then it adds an, a smaller version when it destroys. Let's go for that. There you go. We've eaten the cheese as well. That's going to bump us up a nice amount, and then we can pay our rent here. I'm just hoping we get something that, that kind of that kind of speeds this process up a little bit. We've not really got anything great yet. Let's go for the spades, and then gives five, three or more. The symbols are adjacent and not blank. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that as well. So we should hopefully have a good amount coming in here. We've got another card suit here. So basically when these are guys are adjacent to each other, we're going to get a little bit of extra money. So we'll take those. Um, gives one every three spins and it normally gives one. Let's go for the owl. Gives us a little bit extra. I'm just hoping we get some more cultists at some point. We'll skip those. Eggs are kind of nice. They can hatch into hatchlings. Then the hatchlings can hatch into bigger uh, chickens. Going to go for another suit. So it looks like we're, we're, we're very much cannibalizing with the, um, the the suits of cards. There's some very interesting builds that you can do with those. But it does look like we're not going to make rent. Oh, no, it's only 150. We're good. We're good. This is not a great run, though. I will say. We'll take an item capsule. Um, you add an additional item after each rent payment. That's really good. Wow. So out of these three, that one doesn't matter because we're not using candy or toddlers. This one's very bad. The instant ramen is one of the best items I've ever seen. I've never had that before. That's really good. So we can add extras. Let's see what we end up getting out of that then. Uh, so we don't want that. Oh, wait. So you add an additional after each after each rent payment. Okay. It's not, it's not symbols. It's items. Still, that's very, very good. We're not really getting what we need, though. I'm going to skip again. Essentially, you want to be taking... You only want to be taking stuff that, that build towards your current synergy. Otherwise, the run's going to be dead. Because you, you don't want to overfill your board with stuff that you don't need. We do have a key, so we'll take this lockbox here. And hope that um, comes to fruition at some point. But we're just... This just it, this run's probably doomed, I think. This run feels doomed. We open the lockbox. That's going to help. Um... Toddler, we don't have any candy. Dogs don't synergize. We've got these hexes as well. There's different hexes that basically have associated downsides, but normally give a good amount of coins. I don't like the idea of having to skip our symbols at the end of a spin. I really don't. I just wish we could get more cultists. We can take the wealthy one. Destroys itself and instantly gives us 10. That should at least mean we make rent. Yeah, we make rent. Okay. So, we can take a suit, or we can get more likelihood of getting rare and uncommons. I'm going to go for that. And then let's go for the lucky seven. If we have three of these, we get 77 coins. Um, if every symbol is different, that's never going to happen. If you have one spin left before your rent is due, you may skip. Okay, that sounds good. Essentially, if we get rent a turn early, we can turn in um, a little bit early. None of these are any good. We can turn in a little bit early to get rarer items. And with ramen, that seems... Synergize really nicely. Let's go for another key. Yeah, just we're a little bit behind the curve here. Another item capsule. Getting another item there is going to be great. We got the coin on a string. Has a chance to break, but that's okay. Bartender has a chance of adding alcohol. We don't have anything that, that eats or drinks alcohol, should I say. Uh, we'll take the shiny pebble for a slightly higher rarities. I tend to like going for the higher rarity stuff. Uh, we'll take a safe, definitely. If the key gets that, that'll be a big payout. Hmm, nothing there we really want. The crow is interesting, but the minus three after every four turns doesn't sound great. Um, we can't afford that yet, unfortunately. Nice. Now we can afford that. Good, good. Oh, no, we can. Ah. Oh. So, unfortunately, we've missed rent there, but that, that was a doomed run. We didn't get any synergistic things at all there. So, let's hope this one's a little better. Let's see what we end up getting. The, this game seems to have very, very, very quick turnover. Uh, we'll take the light bulb to synergize with the flower. Uh, it seems to have very quick turnover. You, you tend to, um, you tend to see that another flower. That's great. That you go through runs very, very quickly, and it's kind of hard to find one of those, one of those end all be all runs. Uh, we'll skip those. I'm gonna try and go for the flower synergy. Take flowers and every, everything that helps them. Um, hmm. I will take some cherries though. Why not? If we get a Mrs. Fruit later on, 
she's one of the NPC. I'm not gonna say NPCs, but one of the one of the symbols that can like eat things. Um, and on that same vein, let's take the orange as well. Gives three whenever you gain a multiple of three. Sounds good. Not super likely, but it will happen from time to time. Um, we'll take a pebble. I, I do try. To, I do like to try boost that uh, rarity up as quick as we can. As you can see, again, we're just not getting... We want to go for the flower synergies, and we're just not getting anything. There's, there's quite a few different things that synergize with flowers. There's another flower that we can do, but we're not getting a lot of them right now. So we've just got to hope. Um, we will take Cull after 20 spins transforms into a diamond. Okay, that should help out. We've got quite a long ways before that transforms, but I think early game, the earlier you take that, the better. We've got a... This is a tricky one. We could get an item or we could get a B. I think we go with the B. It's a little more likely to be to be worthwhile. And then we go with this whenever a symbol's destroyed. So now the B is going to help with the flowers as well. Um, we'll take a key. Keys, keys are good because they do destroy themselves once they've been used. They kind of help out later on. I'm going to skip here. Okay, nice one B. Getting all three flowers there. A little bit of extra. I will take a seed. I will take a seed. Why not? And it gave us a flower. Yes, that's exactly what we wanted. Now we just got to hope that we actually will skip all those. We got to hope that we actually get some more synergies with flowers here. There's quite a few things we could get that, that could help out. So we'll take another curl. We're getting enough money at the minute to, to, to definitely pay rent. So don't have to worry about that too much. Three hexes. Um... Have a 30% chance to make adjacent symbols give zero. Hex of... Mm, it's a 30% chance of forcing you... Nah, I don't want any of the hexes there. Um, Let's take the comfy pillow again. Because we might be able to get some skips. I don't know if we'll be able to get them yet, but we're... We're, we're hopefully reaching the point at which we can. I'm going to keep skipping until we get flower synergies. Bit difficult. It's a bit... It's one of those things, it's kind of risky taking skips so early. We'll take one ninja. It's kind of risky taking skips so early, but I like to risk it and try and get the synergies. So again, we're going to keep skipping here. Sometimes the game just does not give you what you need. Uh, I'm going to take cheese because I'm going to take a mouse if I, if I see one. So I might as well prepare for that. God damn, we're not, we're not getting anything. Oh, we're way off rent here. We've lost. Yeah, we, we lost by a landslide there. Okay. Yeah, we're just not getting the synergies we need. Come on. Give me a game. Give me what I need. Uh, we'll go for a cat. The second cat is always nice. There's some really good synergies with the cats. Um, let's go with a crab. We can get, try and get a crab build going on. Love me some crabs. Um, we'll go with oyster. Oyster's interesting because it works really well with something called the diver. Um, we'll even take a pearl. The oyster can give us more pearls and gives us one when destroyed as well. Okay, so there's a first rent done. Bluebird's good because it just gives us two straight away. And we'll take the um, coin and a string. Coin and a string, 10% chance of breaking. Gives us one coin a turn. Um, inventory. Let's take another pearl. Try and build for the diver. Hope that we get that going on. We'll take a key here for later. Shiny. Um... We'll take another key. Prepare for the lockboxes coming in. Another pearl. This is probably diving a little bit too deep on the pearls right now. Um, ooh, bronze arrow. So points in a random direction. Symbols that it's pointed at get two times the amount of coins. That's really good. Uh, take that whenever a symbol's destroyed. Unfortunately, it pointed directly down there. Didn't give us anything. Hey, there's another crab. So we've got two crabs now. Once you get to about three or four, it gets really good. We'll take the rabbit's fluff for the extra rarity. Might be able to find some good stuff. The diver is rare, so we want to try and get him. Another crab. Here we go. And there you go. Now you can see we get four for both of these because on the same row. Buffing capsule. We'll take that. Anything that's near that, I'll get a buff. The crabs are going to help out a lot now. We'll take another cat. One of the reasons I'm taking so many cats, even though they only give one, is that lucky cat item. Every cat that you have, you gain 1.3 times more rarity um, on your items, which is really good. We'll take a Void Stone. Um, adjacent blank tiles give one more. It destroys itself when it's adjacent to no zeros, and it gives eight. So it's essentially it's pretty good. Um, give five, three, or more. The okay, let's go with that. Okay, he destroyed himself. Good, good. Another shiny pebble. Another oyster. Let's take another oyster. 
I'm be I'm really gambling on the, the fact that we get Diver here. Uh, void Creature is going to give eight. Same as the Void Stern. Very nice. Ninja. Did we take a mouse yet? We've already got one ninja, don't we? No, that was last run. Okay. No, we won't, we won't take any of those then. We won't take any of those. It's too risky. The Void Creature's gone. He's going to give us eight. And we get one for destroying. There's a safe. We have two keys, so we should unlock this. Yeah. Oh, actually, yeah, he used both keys. Okay. I didn't know that could happen. Um, Cole. It's probably a little late for Cole. Let's skip on that one. Nick, as you can see here, the, uh, the arrow is helping us out a bunch. 150, we're way above rent right now, and you keep all your excess money, so that's great. We'll take a five-sided die. Um, let's take this, and we'll uh, we'll open that up. We got an extra crab. We'll take a wealthy capsule. We'll take an extra cat, and that'll, that'll be it. So getting an extra crab there. Just the more crabs we have, the better, because it means the, the more likely they are to line up with each other. We'll take another void creature here. Basically, it gives us eight straight away. Kind of nice. Um, keep skipping on that. Come on, so many pearls. Oh my god, we need the dive, otherwise it's gonna kind of get crazy. Um, I don't think we want any of that. We'll take the chick. Why not? Why not? Why not? Skip on those. Come on, diver. Where are you? It's kind of a rare find, so I'm gambling a lot here. Beastmaster. Um, that does give us a bit extra, so we'll take the Beastmaster. That's going to work with our crabs and our cats. Essentially, he's going to give us double points when he's next to them. Could also go with Farmer, um, which is going to give two times more for all of these. We'll take a Farmer as well, why not? It'll give us a little bit extra here and there. We really need the Diver more than, every more than anything, to be honest. Hey, Archaeologist works even better. Um... Let's go with Time Machine. Why not? If we get caught, we can take that. So the Archaeologist is really good here. He's going to destroy all these pearls. And essentially, if we take a little look at him, he gives one more permanently for every symbol destroyed. And he can't destroy oysters either, which is even better. Uh, I'm going to skip on this because I've pretty much got what I need now. This guy's going to destroy both of these. And now he gives three. Oh, no, four. Even better. And that's going to keep on... We can basically skip a lot of symbols now because this guy's going to... He says it's going to go large. We're up to six, and we can see how many counts he's got on him there. Again, we're skipping. We're, we're hoping the archaeologist can just kind of handle this all for us. I think we've got a pretty good setup now. Uh, we will take another bronze arrow. Bronze arrows are really good. And our crabs are doing good work as well. We can skip on that one as well. Okay, here we go. We're going to get a lot here. He's up to ten. Nice. Every time he shows up, we get 10 from him. We'll take a chemical 7, because a chemical 7, if we take a little look at that um, before it shows up. The chemical 7, what that's going to do, it's going to destroy itself, add 7, and give us one of those 7 items. And if we get 3 of those, we get some good stuff. We get 77 coins. So we paid rent. Um, let me have a little look, see what's going on here. Hmm... So, destroys adjacent. Okay, so we can actually take this mine and the that dude will handle that for us. We can take this lunchbox as well and get some extra food because the um, the dude is going to, the farmer is going to help us out with that. So, we can take this banana and we'll skip the last one just because that's going to help us out with that. This guy's getting, he's getting pearls for days. 14 a turn. That's so good. Void creature again, why not? We need more oysters, really, um, so that we keep getting more and more pearls. If we can get more oysters in the mix, that'd be great. Do we have any keys left? We don't. Okay. And essentially, once we reach 777 rent, the game's over, and then we enter endless mode. Oh my god. He's up to 18. 36, because he got an arrow pointing at him. Oh my god, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. <laughs> and that Beastmaster. <laughs> Oh my god. We've actually got a really good setup of uh, of characters here. The farmer, the beastmaster, and the archaeologist are all just doing so well. No chicken hatch and egg as well. Um, Do we have time machine on this one? We do. Let's take a call then, because we'll get a diamond out of it, so why not? Um, We don't want any of that. 
Essentially, we just want things that feed into our current setups. Our current synergies. We want stuff that feeds into that. Oh, my God. The, um... The... Thingy uh, hatched into a golden egg. We got a golden egg out of the chicken. 1% chance to happen. So, we could take the card shark. Um... He is very good, and he, t he changes adjacent ones of these, but we don't have any of those, so I think we just take the call again. Even though he's really good, I think we're stretching ourselves too thin if we take yet another synergy there. We are actually really close to missing rent here. We'll take a silver arrow. Here's our lucky cat that we've been looking for. Great stuff. Oh, watch this. 80. We got both the arrows pointing at him. That's so good. Um... No, you don't destroy any of that, do you? Okay, let's we'll skip on that. He's going to eat another pearl and another pearl. Oh, my God. He's up to 22 a turn. That's fantastic. Void stone, because that's going to get destroyed pretty quick. Why not? Oh, we got an emerald there as well. 22 for that. Wow. We're, we're basically skipping on pretty much everything now, but we've got our synergy. We just got to hope that this guy shows up. As long as we get oysters, that'd be great. Uh, we'll, we'll take that. Why not? Another 22. As soon as he shows up, we're getting great. And another golden egg. Why not? Golden eggs are pretty good here. Okay, nothing we want there. Okay, he's got yet yeah, another one. Ooh, and he got doubled as well. 44. 46. Oh, that's huge. Cultist, it's a bit late, my dude. It's a bit late. Okay, buffing up those cats. Very nice. Six from each. Rent was easily paid that time around. Um, I'm going to skip all of these. The hustling capsule's good early on if you can pay rent, but otherwise I don't really care. Uh, we might as well take this. Oh, wait, what's the telescope? Symbols that are um, affected... Symbols that are affected adjacent symbols. Um, symbols that affect adjacent symbols affect... Wow, that's insanely good. Holy hell! This is... This might be the best item in the entire game. I've never seen that before. Wow. So now, no matter where it is on the board, we hit it. So gonna eat, he's going to eat pearls no matter what. This is insane. This is how you get to endless. Wow. You just throw everything everywhere and get them all. There is definitely a few items in our deck that we don't need that aren't synergizing. But for the most part, we're getting quite a lot of synergies here. Going well. Void creature, because you're going to end up dying. Oh my god, this is great. He's just going for it. 27 we're getting from him. 27. I was so set on the diver, but we've got the better synergy right here. Goddamn, each turn takes so long now, though. 14 for every crab there. Wow, that was a huge turn. Um, give six. Why not take that? Seems good to me. Ah, both of our arrows failed there. We get a lot less on those turns, as you can see. Not even 50. Not even 50. I kind of need to look out for more adjacent symbol synergies as well. That could work out amazingly. Having the card shark now would have been a great idea, actually. Um, skip all of those. More pearls on the board. And yes, another pearl created. Just give us more oysters. That'd be so nice. Nope. No, thank you. Nice one. There's another two. Up to 58. Oh my god, that's beautiful. We pay rent there for 500. Um, nope, we don't want any of those. King Midas is interesting, but late game, he's really bad, to be honest. Let's take Pizza the Cat. Why not? Because we're going to get extra for our cats. Seems good to me. Cannot complain about one extra for every cat, considering we have got a few of them. We'll take another Chemical 7 here. I just love the way that this affects the whole board now. it's th th This item is absurdly good. The telescope is amazing. Um... Let's just take a diamond here. Diamond's pretty good. And another archaeologist. Do we really care about a second archaeologist? I don't know. I kind of think we do. 
because it means he's more likely of showing up, but I'm guessing he won't count towards what we've eaten before. I'm, I'm going to skip on that. I think it could muddle our, our good, our good archaeologist that we already have. We have muddled our symbols a little bit. We've got a little too many, to be honest. We'll take the item capsule. Well, we've got quite a lot of symbols that just don't matter, but we also have a lot of symbols that do with the Beastmaster and such, so... I can't complain too much about that. Take ore. We're just hoping the ore hatches into a pearl. That'd be the best way for it to work out for us. But it keeps hatching into these topazes, which I just don't want. I really don't want the topazes at all. There you go. Yet another pearl for this man. Up to 30 a turn. That's absurd. Another item capsule. We got pizza the cat. What other items we got? Okay, we got the monkey. That doesn't really matter. We don't have any monkeys. 30 again. Skip on those. I don't know. We're, 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 we're lacking a little bit now, actually. We need we need something to take us to take us a little bit higher. 550. Good, good. The diver. So the diver's interesting, but he destroys oysters and crabs. And I think that's kind of too destructive for us here. So let's skip. We'll take a pool ball. Why not? It's a little too destructive. It's going to take away a lot of our synergy. We, we need more crabs and oysters is what we need, I think. I think that's the two things that could really pop this off. Nah, we'll take, we'll take a skip on those. I might be making a few mistakes here, obviously, but I'm, I've, I've only got like three or four hours in this game, so there's a pearl. We might as well take that. And there's our diamond. Nice. Like to see it. Ooh, nice one. Created another pearl as well. Up to 32 a turn. Oh, my God. Basically, now if he gets hit by the arrows, we get so much extra money. It's just annoying because we have so many symbols that he doesn't show up every turn. It's better if you can get him to show up every turn. To be honest, at this point, I'd risk taking a Midas Bomb, which will basically just destroy a bunch of different tiles for us, a bunch of different symbols. But we could end up losing a pretty key symbol like our Beastmaster, which would be horrible. I would not like to see that. Skip on that as well. Come on, we need something really good here. I've been taking all the rarity things to try and get some high rarity payouts, but we're just not getting them quite as much. S taking rarity isn't always the best thing, though, because obviously we're looking for oysters, and oysters are common. So we're missing out on some of those by taking the high rarities. We've got three diamonds here. Another cultist. No, thank you. Damn, if only that was one over. Still, that's going to be a good payout, though. 18 on that apple. There it is. Another oyster. Great. If we can get these oysters to pay out, there's actually an item that allows you to pay out more often uh, on items that give you new symbols. So hopefully we can get that. That'd be a great thing to get. Skip that. We're, we're, we're kind of in Skipsville at the minute anyways, but... At least we've got some high paying out symbols. Okay, we paid our 650. We're on our last one now. Another archaeologist. We're getting a few of them, but we just don't need them anymore. Right, let's have a look. You may destroy this. I think we go with that, don't we? The booster pack. So, skip. We might end up skipping all of these, by the way, but we'll see. Skip. Um. Skip. Mrs. Fruit. Destroys adjacent fruit. And gives, pe gives permanently. I'm going to go for that. Even though it messes up our our um, other person. I think that that could help out. It could clear the board up a little bit for us. Not a huge amount. But a little bit. We'll go for a cat for a bit more rarity. But we could clear up the board a nice amount here. So I'll go with that. Another item capsule. We'll take that. Well, there's a few pearls as well. Up to 34. That's crazy. That's so good. We'll take a plum because she's going to eat that. She's pretty particular about what she eats, but... Oh, my God. There's actually something that makes cats give double, so that'd be really good as well. That'd be another good item to get. We're definitely going to make rent here, which is great. We need 777, and we should get that this turn. And I think we're still two turns away from rent. Five turns away from rent. Okay. I was way off. 
good. Mrs. Fruit's eating everything up. Keep skipping. I don't know how we're going to do an endless mode here because we just, we don't have tons of sustain. Like I said, I'd like to get rid of some of these uh, symbols, to be honest. Wealthy. I mean, we'll just take that. Why not? We're really looking for items. Items is the thing that we need, but we don't get that until we pay rent, so don't need any of those. Come on, Oyster, pay out. The Oysters just aren't paying out as much now as well, which is a shame. I don't want to take Orcs. We've got this pickaxe, and it might mine it. I want, I want the Archaeologist to mine it, really. Okay, we get double Archaeologist. That's really good. 68 there. And there you go. We've made it into Endless mode. Continue into Endless and see what we get. Another Beastmaster. I think we go for another Beastmaster. Um, and Capsules give double effect. Let's go for that. The double Beastmaster on one turn could be insanely good. Because um, they're going to affect they're gonna affect the whole board. I just don't want to overdo it with symbols. The fact that the Beastmaster affects Oysters is great as well. Second synergy, really. No, thank you. Come on, come on. Also, in endless mode, it ramps up a lot quicker, so there's, there's a likelihood we won't make next rent. Um, or the one after that, maybe. We'll see. Depends how much our archaeologist shows up, really. A witch is going to give extra for adjacent cats. And crows. That's not really worth it. I think we go for this, because that's going to give us our uh, third one of those. It's going to give us a boost of 77. Nice. No, thank you. Chickens playing some eggs. Come on now. Let's see what we get. Watermelon. We'll take watermelon. I don't know if Mrs. Fruit eats that. I'm going to guess that she does. Doesn't. Oh, no, she doesn't. Okay. She's particular about the fruit that she eats. Void creature. Grab that because it's going to destroy itself. This is why we took this, though. Huge payouts from that. Huge payouts. Go for a lucky capsule. Increase our luck for our next roll. This is good. This is a really good line. Should get a lot here. Yeah, there you go. 24 from each of those. Don't need any of those. We're not doing any plant-based builds. Hey, come on, oysters. Nice one. We haven't had a double Beastmaster yet, I don't think. Or at least that I haven't noticed. Another farmer? I don't think another farmer's really necessary. Oh, there you go. We get the door of the Beastmaster this time. There should be a pretty big payout this turn. Oh, not, not as much as I was thinking. There you go. We pay 1,000 rent. Got to get to 1,500 this time. You don't eat strawberries. We're going to take another Mrs. Fruit. Actually, why? No. I shouldn't have taken that. Oh, well. Oh, well. Doesn't matter. I shouldn't have taken a second Mrs. Fruit. I don't actually need it. Um, wealthy, why not? Nice, oyster. Nice payout. Oh, this guy's getting tons today. Oh, that's an egg. I thought that was an oyster. That's an egg. You've tricked me, game. You've tricked me. Take another void creature. Yeah, so now she's not going to get anything. She's not really going to give much else. I shouldn't have taken her. Oh, well. Not the end of world. End of the world. Let's take that. Oh, these arrows are pointing at each other. <laughs> reminds me of the Spider-Man meme. You. Um. Okay, keep going. Double the golden eggs is fine, but we're not getting any additional bonuses. We got our archaeologist there as well. Damn. I don't know if we're gonna make this next rent. You know, it's one thousand five hundred. That's that's a high order. We've only got a few turns left. Four turns left. Let's take a chemical seven. We're gonna have to get some really big turns coming in here. Okay, that egg's hatched as well. We're just not getting enough, I don't think. An extra cat for extra rarity, why not? Clam busted out a pearl as well. We've got two new pearls here. God damn. Three turns to get quite oh, was it two turns? Might even be two. Oh, really? All of our uh, arrows fucked up then. Yeah, we, we've lost here, unfortunately. This turn would have to be godly for us to make this. And it's just not. Sadly, we end it there. 
I think we'll end off the video here. Quite a fun game, though. We, we got some good synergies towards the end there. Archaeologist ended up kind of popping off. But yeah, let me know if you guys like this. This is just kind of a one-off video that I thought I'd do because I've been playing this game in, in my, own, my own time. And I've been seeing it all over YouTube. So I thought people enjoy. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.